Nichiren Daishonin explained Zange as follows, and I quote from the Gosho, sit up straight and ponder the true aspect of your life. If you do deep Zange, your past sins will melt like frost and dewdrops in the sunshine of your wisdom. So, viewed from the aspect of eternal life, every single one of us must have slandered. Life, or the true law, at one time or another. And remember, of course, that slander can be by thought, word, or deed. Worse still, of course, we may still be doing it, even though we're now practicing Buddhism. Maybe we're complaining and blaming others for things that happen to us that we don't like. Maybe we're sometimes hating people. Maybe we're criticizing destructively. Maybe we're hurting people by some of our remarks. Or maybe even we're hurting people occasionally by causing bodily harm to them in a fit of anger. There's a good article about slander in it's a very short one in the new UK Express for April. If we seem to be getting no benefits, if we seem not to be changing our karma, if nothing seems to be moving forward in our lives, I really recommend that everybody should think about slander. We should really think twice every time we moan or complain or blame others. Worse still, if we, dis if we hate others, even for a moment. And of course, every time we do it, we are perpetuating our karma of slander. So, Zange is the practice to recognize that we are actually slandering, to cause us to actually face it. And as we chant Daimoku, to realize that with the whole of one's life. And inevitably then, if we really realize it deeply, regret wells up from the very depths of our lives and fills our entire being. And we realize, worse still, that we're perpetuating that karma maybe every day, making more causes which will bring more effects. And after that, we feel gratitude, inevitably, that despite the fact that we've committed all this slander and we're still doing it sometimes, we're fortunate enough to have the Gohonzon so that we can change this karma. And we chant Daimoku then strongly, having done this Zange, for actual proof that the compassion of the Buddha actually exists in us, even in those areas where previously we've committed this slander. So why does Zange work? And it really does work. There's not one person here I know who's really done deep Zange who wouldn't be able to stand up and talk about the amazing change in their life as a result. Why is it important? The point about Zangi is that we tap the very depths of our lives and for the first time ever, through acknowledging those bad causes that we've made, we open up the depths of our lives. For the first time, we are no longer hiding anything. We're not hiding anything from the Gohonzon and we're not hiding anything from ourselves, even though we may have suspected that it existed and turned a blind eye to it. We recognize it with our whole hearts and face it and admit it. This releases the poison that has been locked in our lives probably for many, many years and we rid ourselves of it. And as a result of that, we reveal the Gohonzon that is in our lives lying behind all those clouds of poison. A sensei once said, the sun is always shining in our lives, the sun being the Gohons. But it so often lies behind the poison clouds of slander. 
So, of course, a shallow zange is not particularly valuable. Maybe better than nothing. But really that zange must fill one's whole life, a whole life filled with regret at what one's done. And then that's it. It's done. No more guilt, but really chanting strongly to change that horrible karma and rid that poison for our lives and see the Buddha state through actual proof occurring where it's never occurred before. So Mr. Izumi talking about Zangi, Mr. Izumi, that vice president of the Soka Gakkai, famous for his guidance. He said, if you stole some, a watch from somebody 10 or 20 years ago, Zange is not saying to the Gohonzon as you chant Daimoku, I'm really sorry I did this. Zange is seeing the cause that you've made by that act, hurting someone's life, feeling it right in the very depths, and longing to see that person again so that you can make amend or give them 10,000 watches in return, if you could only do so. That is Zange, right in the depths of one's life. 